Because the problem with traditional healthcare, if you go see a cardiologist, he or she's only going to talk to you about your heart. If you see a gastroenterologist, <laughs> it's just about your gut, right? But actually, a lot of the issues are multifaceted and they're linked. So, you know, I'm a generally quite a big techie. I love gadgets. I love trying to measure what is generally unmeasurable to kind of, you know, the keywords being optimized, the way we live, the way we spend our money. Um, I, like, I like doing that. So that's why wearables. Um, I remember the first app I got a few years ago that could help me track calories. Uh, do you use a lot of uh, these apps to track what you do? It seems like lately there's a little bit too much of um, an over-dependence on it. And determining, okay, how much I can eat based on how much I worked and um, eating back all these like burnt calories. So I think there's, there's a fine line on like trying not to over depend on it and just using it as a guideline to understand like how active you are in a day. So that's how I would use my device. Hmm. You expect putting on the tech suddenly will motivate you. Yeah. So there are already studies that shows that just using a wearable doesn't change behavior. Hmm. The tech enables you to have easy access. Certainly, um, the tech enables you to have um, access to a wider range of services, as it were. Because the problem with traditional healthcare, if you go see a cardiologist, he or she's only going to talk to you about your heart. If you see a gastroenterologist, <laughs> it's just about your gut, right? But actually, a lot of the issues are multifaceted and they're linked. And so we need to rethink the delivery model away from specialists to one of coordinated teams where different people focus on different parts. Maybe the psychologist needs to focus a lot on the intrinsic motivations, but once you move someone from that stage to one where, okay, I need to get into physical activity, how then does the, the physical trainer comes in? If an injury comes up, how do I then bring the physio in, right? And so it has to be coordinated, right? And that's where I think there's a lot of opportunity to apply tech in a way that really transforms the delivery of health. When we have all of this, right, this is a lot of data. Mm. And I think one of the biggest fears today, or at least I personally have this fear, is if all this data is in central location, how protected is it? What happens if this data goes into the wrong hands? I mean, we've heard a lot of, uh, a lot of cases of data breaches uh, abroad, locally, and these are concerns that we have, especially as we collect more and more data. Yep. Uh, Asran, how do, we, how do we address this fear head on? So I think, first of all, uh, health data will, will have the same issues as privacy data with other applications, like including you know, social media and, and fintech data. A couple of things. I think first, um, what can different providers uh, demonstrate credibility? Uh, and so, for example, in, in the health space specifically, um, there are global standards that are coming up, right? Take, for example, what's called a HIPAA standard. The Health Information and Portability and Accessibility Act defines specific protocols. So where your servers go in, right? it has to be a private server rather than a public server, end-to-end -end encryption, those are things that are crucially important. Data is great, yeah. and there's a lot of things that we can do yeah. with data. Right. Um, how do we apply that? Sure. Yeah. Well, I think government and regulators have a very strong responsibility to, to play. Um, then you need to build that trust. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, the government needs to build that trust. But at the same time, doesn't mean that it is being tightly regulated that the individuals, such as ourselves, do not take our own responsibility to build our own knowledge about the data that we are sharing. However, at this point in time, I think the government and the regulators have a very strong responsibility to play in ensuring that um, health data is being treated like Fantastic. financial um, um, kind of data. So, you know, when we take a look at all of this, I think it's clear that tech, especially over the last decade, has uh, provided a lot of benefits, especially at the consumer level. Um, I mean, I know when I got my wearable, it helped me motivate me to do certain workouts. But it's not the be all and all, right? Tech on its own, um, it needs guidance. You need to uh, look across disciplines. It's not just about how fast you can run, um, it's about your health intrinsically. How do you look at the different elements? It's not just your heart, it's not just your stomach, it's not just your mental health. It's all of it coming together. And essentially, taking your own, empowering yourself to take charge of your life and taking all these different tools and finding a solution that works for you. The tech is helpful, but it's about the holistic solution. How do you put everything together that will really make it uh, work? Mm.